Today I'm using my macro lens, so pardon everything that's blurry or shaky. But um, this is the DuPont connector, and I want to show you how you can crimp this to your wires uh, to make the connectors look like this one. And um, so the anatomy is important to start with. You have here um, the first pair of wings and the second pair of wings and then the area that in this case is a female it will mate to the male area and needs to be clear of all conductor so the first pair of wings is designed to uh, grab onto your insulation it's larger um, they have a larger reach and the second pair of wings should be uh, grabbing onto conductor only so you should be stripping from your wire about this much and your wire should not go past uh, past this region here so let's start by taking one of these apart we'll take one uh, that came pre-assembled and I'm going to use an exacto knife to lift up that black tab slide out the part okay so this is what you have and uh, you can see the copper doesn't go into the female area and the insulation doesn't go into the second set of wings so that's what we want to achieve when we make our own so you can start with um, a ribbon or a single wire what you want is to have uh, about 28 gauge. I know that because I was able to strip it with 28 gauge hole on this wire stripper and this is um, slightly less common than the average wire stripper. These, this pair here has finer gauges. If you just bought a general one and didn't choose what size you might not go up to 20, you might only go up to 26 ish. Okay. So you want to strip about, let's see with our ruler, I stripped about 5 millimeters, 4 to 5, and that's going to be uh, maybe more than enough. So I have my spool, I'll break one off just by twisting it, bend it back and forth, don't, don't crush the wings, and then we're going to use this designated crimping tool, clicky kind, and we're going to use the smallest of these three dies, which is in the front of the jaw, and we're going to use that to do our crimping. So I'll start this process by loading. I'm going to load my wing in here, point it up, and I'm going to clasp the jaw down. This is pretty hard to hold it steady and keep it in view. I want my wings close to the front. Wow. Okay, can you see that? I want my wings to hang up on that shelf that you can possibly see. That shelf in there that just came into focus. I want them to hang. So, and then I'll close this, just not enough to crush the wings, but enough to uh, hold it steady. And then on the opposite side, if, if I release my grip, it stays closed based on the clicks. And you can see that I'm not going to crush the female part of this uh, crimper. Okay, so then I'm going to turn over to this side. Uh, the rule can be that you have the label side up on your um, on your off-the-shelf crimpers. Then you're going to insert. I don't think I can do this with the camera really in view, but I'll try. I'm gonna insert my wire. And I'm going to put my insulation right up to the tab and then feed it in a little bit further. 
This is the part, the only part of the process that's a little bit blind. And then I'm going to close it all the way. Okay, this one I messed up because I was looking at the camera instead of my parts. So this part we need to have um, these wires removed, but actually I think I can do that with my fine pitch um, wire cutters. Okay, so what do we have? We have the insulation in the first pair of wings. We have the conductor in the second pair of wings to make sure we have electrical contact. And we have everything clear of the final area. So this can slide into a housing. The small hole is the, the part that plugs. The, the big hole is the part where you feed your wire. And the top of this uh, little nub at the top hangs on to the tab. So you slide that in. And you make sure you hear that click. And then when you pull it, that gets hung up so it's locked in. You can't back out. The fastest way to load this thing is to grab your part, hang up the wings on that shelf. So insert, pull down until it stops, and then click, click, click. There you are.